All right, stop, 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 stop. Guys, you are not applying your fragrance correctly, okay? But that's fine because here I am, bow tie fragrance guy to the rescue. I'm gonna tell you guys today how to apply your fragrance the right way. Stop doing it wrong. It's time to get it right. <laughs> Let's talk about it. YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy, Darren. I'm the bow tie fragrance guy on this channel we talk about fashion and we also talk about fragrance as well of course so if you're into fashion and fragrance i hope you won't mind subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well that way anytime i upload a new video you'll be one of the first people to get notified all right guys you heard the intro we're going to be talking about how to apply your fragrances the right way there's a science to this <laughs> no actually it's not really it kind of is but not really Listen, I guess there's not ultimately a right way to do it, but I get the question questions all the time, I should say, about how I apply my fragrances and the things I do, kind of my spray routine and all that good stuff. So I want to share with you guys today with some demonstrations how I apply my fragrance, which I feel is a great way maybe for you uh, to utilize to apply your fragrances as well. So if you want to see how to apply fragrance the right way and stop doing it wrong, <laughs> Then I'm gonna go ahead and run the intro, and after the intro, we'll be right back. So stick around. Let's get it. Booyah. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. All right, now I don't want to take anything for granted, and I don't want to make any accusations as well. All right, but the first step in applying your fragrance the right way is, listen, you got to shower, man. <laughs> you got to shower, man. Listen, I'm, I'm pretty confident you guys shower, okay? But it is a step that really goes a long way towards helping your fragrance, you know, last and applying it the right way, man. You got to be smelling good. Fragrance is not a substitute for a shower, guys. You got to make sure you are uh, taking good care of your skin and taking good care of your body by showering. Not only in the nighttime, but when you get up in the morning time, guys, you got to take another, at least a quick shower in the morning as well to make sure that you are smelling your best. You, you know, when you shower, you are kind of creating that blank canvas uh, for your fragrance, man. So you want to be smelling good from head to toe. So you want to make sure you shower in the nighttime and of course in the morning when you get up as well. Now, one of the things I like to do, I like to use a lightly scented uh, body wash or one of your one of your basic body washes from one of your big brands, like maybe a Dove. We use a lot of Dove in my household, um, just the kind, the plain white kind. Again, it's lightly scented, not a very heavily scented. I don't like to really use the heavily scented body washes because, in my humble opinion, heavily scented body washes kind of interfere with the fragrance itself, okay? So uh, that's just one of my tips. Obviously, you don't have to do that. It's not a huge deal, but I really feel like not using something that's heavily scented will really go a long way towards uh, allowing that fragrance that you're going to apply later on, of course, in the day to really uh, to really shine. So my first tip to applying fragrance the right way, guys, you got to make sure that you are showered. And speaking of showering, guys, and speaking of uh, making sure that you're taking great care of yourself, that is going to bring me to today's sponsor, of course, which is Tej Hanley. Listen, you got to shower. All right, so you gotta make sure you're taking care of your body, but you gotta make sure you're taking care of your face, your skin on your face as well, man. Obviously, it is uh, as important as well, and that's, of course, uh, where Tej Hanley is going to come into play. Listen, I've been using Tej Hanley for a while now, and I can vouch that it is a very simple, easy to understand skincare regimen for men that really, really works. It gets the job done, and that's why I am a big proponent of Tej Hanley. I always recommend guys you start with at least a level one skincare system because uh, that has all of the essentials, all right? So when you get up in the morning, after of course you take that shower, right? You wanna make sure that you uh, wash your face, 
all right, uh, with the uh, facial wash. Uh, make sure you wash your face in the morning, guys. Uh, when you are sleeping at night, sometimes people sleep on their hands, of course, stuff from the pillow as well, uh, or getting uh, on your skin uh, as you're sleeping. So you want to make sure that you uh, wash it in the morning, guys, so you can really prepare it uh, for your day. Now, after you wash your face in the morning, of course, you want to apply the AM moisturizer. The moisturizer in the morning is going to make sure, whether it's hot or cold outside, it's going to make sure that it is kind of the best way to summarize it, protecting your skin when you go outside every morning into the elements. Again, whether it is cold outside or whether it is hot, uh, the weather has a tremendous effect on your skin. So you want to make sure it's protected uh, when you go outside in the morning. So make sure that you're applying your AM facial moisturizer. Now, guys, when you return home in the evening after a hard day's work, of course, after your shower or during the shower, however you choose to do this, you want to make sure that you wash your face, obviously, again. And this time, you're going to follow it up with the PM moisturizer. Now, the PM moisturizer does the same thing that the AM moisturizer does, but it's really designed more to protect your skin as you are sleeping uh, throughout the course of your night. Guys, listen, when you're asleep, your face still needs to be protected, all right? It needs to be moisturized as well, and that's where the PM moisturizer is going to come into play. So after you wash your face in the evening time, make sure you follow that up with the PM moisturizer. Now, the last product that's going to be included with the uh, Level 1 skincare system is going to be the facial scrub. Now, unlike the other products that come with uh, the Level 1 system, this product you only use twice per week but it's very important guys because this is the exfoliant god is going to exfoliate your skin is going to clean out those dead pores those skin uh pores on your face going to make sure you get those cleaned out and it really really makes the other uh products that you're going to be using with uh this level one system more effective because anything any of the buildup, this is going to make sure again it's keeping your pores clean and clear so it's a very essential element of the level one skincare system so make sure you are using the facial scrub at least twice per week and of course guys because you guys are my subscribers tj hanley is going to hook you guys up if you decide that you need a skincare regimen that works make sure you click the link down below man you're going to get a discount on your first uh kit that they're going to send you but you're also going to get some free gifts and i said gifts this time because this month we have some amazing gifts that we're going to be sending you guys we have this amazing new dot kit that you're going to be able to get uh, as a free gift and also this nice tj hanley towel all right guys uh, you want to use a separate towel to make sure you're cleaning your face than any other uh towel or whatever you're using uh, for the rest of your body. So that'll be a great towel to use after you wash your face to go ahead and dry it. But those are two amazing gifts, free gifts that you're going to get for subscribing uh, to get your kit from Tej Hanley, man. So all, as I always say, it's a win-win situation, man. You're going to get clean and clear skin, and you're also going to get some free gifts, and you're going to get a discount. Listen, who wouldn't want a deal like that? So make sure that you click the link down below and get started with a skincare regimen that works all right guys so the next step that you want to do to make sure you're applying your fragrance the right way after you've taken a shower is apply a lightly scented lotion all right some type of lightly scented body moisturizer all right having moisturized skin really helps uh in my experience for the fragrance to really adhere better to your skin so after you wash uh in the morning get your skin clean you want to make sure you follow it up with a lightly scented moisturizer like i said really helps that fragrance to kind of stick around a little bit longer on the skin because it almost works as an adhesive you know but like i said something lightly scented now this is where i really feel like it's even more important than the body wash a really heavily scented lotion can really really uh kind of affect the fragrance you know it can you know throw the chemistry of the fragrance off as far as the notes so i really like to do something that's one of those kind of neutral smells a really lightly scented kind of lotion uh, follow it up with after you wash yourself in the morning, man. So that is the second tip in applying your fragrance the right way. All right, guys. Now, this is a very subjective thing, but the third thing that you want to do is make sure you're controlling the amount of sprays. And the way that I do this, guys, if you haven't seen the video, I talked about it before. I follow a very simple three, five, seven spray routine. And what I mean by that is this. When it is cold outside, and I'm wearing a heavier fragrance, all right? Heavier fragrances, your ooze, your incenses, 
your dark, really heavy gourmand, stuff like that, I spray a little bit less and I use, I spray three times. So let's take, I'm gonna use the brand of YSL, their exclusive collection, for example, like this fragrance Captain. All right, this is a little bit uh, more of a heavy uh, fragrance from the YSL collection. And one of the main notes in this one is going to be uh, incense and benzoin. All right, so it's an incense-y, uh, kind of heavy benzoin fragrance. And this is one that I would use and spray three times. Now, my three sprays, I normally go one, two, and I go one on the chest. All right, that's what I normally do with uh, a fragrance like this that's really, really heavy. I spray it three times. So anything uh, that you probably would wear more so in the winter months, I usually spray three times, all right? So the next thing in this, most fragrances I have fall into this category uh, is the five spray, all right? The five spray, and for this particular example, I have Tuxedo from the uh, YSL Private Collection. This one is heavy on, of course, the spices and the patchouli. So uh, this is kind of those everyday fragrances, uh, more uh, fragrances people will wear more of a, on an everyday basis. I usually spray five times, all right? And it's one, two, three, four, both wrists, and then uh, one on the chest. That's my five spray routine. Uh, so again, that most fragrances that you have will probably fall into uh, the five spray category. Now, a lot of my spring summer fragrances, I do seven sprays, all right? And to represent that, uh, this is called Trench. And you guys know I've talked about this fragrance, how much I love this fragrance from YSL. This one wears lighter than the other ones. This one is really about iris and fig. So I will spray this seven times. So I'm gonna go to one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one on the back of the neck. That is where I like to spray. And again, that's seven sprays, and I use that for lighter fragrances. So anything, your citruses, your aquatics, or maybe even powdery iris fig fragrances like this right here, really tend to do well for me utilizing seven sprays. All right, guys, and the last tip that I would give you, if you are using a fragrance that comes with any type of uh, body spray or any body lotion, I highly recommend that you utilize those with the fragrance as well, because unlike some type of foreign uh, lotion or some foreign body spray that may interfere with the fragrance, when you have an actual body spray or a body lotion of any kind that really goes with that fragrance, so it's the same scent, it really helps with the performance of the fragrance. So if I have a fragrance again, like Tom Ford's Oud Wood, for example, I have beard oil, um, I have the body spray uh, as well. So I would actually use those products in combination with the fragrance and using those products are really going to help enhance the overall, of course, uh, fragrance because it, they all obviously smell the same. So you'll get it here in the beard, you get it uh, on the body as well because it's really close to the body, it's, you know, on top it's not on top of your body, on the sh I mean on your shirt, it's actually on your skin underneath and you get a lot of heat there. So spraying your body with that body spray and stuff like that is gonna really help the fragrance to really perform and last. So that is the last tip that I wanna leave you guys with. If you have any of those body sprays or even of course the body wash that actually comes with the same, you know, with the fragrance and it's the same scent, use those products. They really help to enhance the performance but that is it guys that is my time those are some of the tips that i want to give you guys that'll help you apply fragrance the right way and really maximize that fragrance as always i sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos you don't have to watch but you do and i sincerely appreciate it and don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like comment and subscribe and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.